brought to you by wellnessplus.tv and made possible by the generous donations of Psyche Truth Patreon supporters. Hey yogis, welcome. It's Julia. For anybody who needs to relax, unwind, let go. So really we're going to stay a little bit more grounded. We're going to get into some of those spaces that get really tense and tight during the day and ease them on out. Maybe you're getting ready for bed or you just need to reset for the rest of your day with more ease. This is a fantastic sequence for you. So let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to start in a seat. So bring yourself to a comfortable seat. Find a place where your sit bones can anchor and you have a tall spine. And we'll start with some deep breath. You can place your hands on your lap, draw the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, and loop their shoulder heads back and down. Take a deep breath in, let your abdomen be a little bit soft so you're actually breathing fully into your belly. And on your exhale, feel the draw belly draw back in and up. Good, so the inhales are full. The exhales are full. Breathe in again. And this time let the exhale last a little bit longer than the inhale. We'll breathe in for the count of four, three, two, one. And we'll exhale for six, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale for four, three, two, one. And exhale even longer. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Natural breath in. And a natural breath out. So our exhales signal to our nervous system that we are moving into a more restful state. So we take our exhales and we extend them. It offers a signal between our brain and our body that it's time to slow it down. So as we move through this sequence, pay special attention to your exhale breath. Good. In front of your heart, interlace your fingers, flip your palms to the ceiling, and stretch. As you anchor down into your seat, lengthen up through your spine. Maybe you had some tightness or tension in your shoulders. Feel that sort of ease away with your exhale breaths. Take one more full inhale to get tall. Good. On your exhale, turn over your right shoulder. Land your left hand on your knee and place your right hand down behind you. You can be on your finger pads or seal your palm down. Lengthen up through your inhale, the spine gets tall. Rotate on your exhale and turn your gaze. So if you spent a lot of your day slumping forward or sitting in a chair, it's just a nice little reset for the spine. On your next inhale, come back up through center, interlace your fingers, push your palms up to the ceiling. And on your exhale, turn over your left shoulder. Anchor down through your backhand to lift your chest. And then turn your gaze. Staying tall through your spine on inhale. Use your exhale to rotate. Good, inhale, come back through center, interlace your fingers, press your palms up, get tall and big through your inhale. On your exhale, plant your hands behind you, fingertips towards your hips, unwind your feet and stamp them in front of you. Inhale, reverse tabletop, lift your hips up, let your chest move towards your chin, press down into each and every one of your finger pads, your base knuckles and the perimeter of your palms. Feel how when you lift your chest through, you get a nice stretch for your shoulders. Take one more inhale. 
Exhale, return your hips down. Come back to that seated position. Interlace your fingers at your chest on your inhale. Reach your arms up overhead, press your palms to the ceiling. Then over your side, side bend, arc into the side body, let your right hand touch down. Now take your left hand, scoop up the base of your neck, wrap your elbow in towards your hairline, and then just let your head fall back. It should feel really, really good. And you're getting a nice big stretch into your lat, outer shoulder, all the way into the tricep. Invite your head to be heavy like a bowling ball. Good, inhale back up through center, your sit bones root, your fingertips and palms press up. And the exhale, you take it to the other side, land your hand, find the side bend, take your top hand now to scoop up the base of your skull and let your head heavy into your hand. Invite your elbow to wrap in towards your hairline and feel that create a deeper stretch through the side panel of your ribs all the way up into the tip of your elbow. Breathe into the side ribs as if your breath could stretch space into the little secret pockets between each and every rib. Good. Inhale back through center, interlace your fingers, press your palms up, stretch once again. And exhale your hands behind you, fingertips towards your hips, plant your feet. Breathe into reverse tabletop, press down into your feet and hands. Move your tailbone to the back of your knees. Let your chest lift up through the frame of your shoulder. Take a breath in through your nose. This time an open mouth, like H-A sound, ha. So breathe in again. One more time, inhale. Hips down, exhale. Cross your ankles in front of you and come to a tabletop. Bring your hips to stack over your knees, your shoulders over your wrists. Press down into your palms and your shins. Lengthen your chest forward. We'll take a little bit of cow and cat. So on your inhale, send your tailbone up, your belly low, your heart and your throat forward, cow pose. Soften your elbows just a little bit and on your exhale, cat pose. Round your spine, tuck your chin, gaze back to your thighs, then straighten out your elbows and press into your palms. Good, inhale for cow, tilt your tailbone, a little softness in your elbows to get around the shoulder joint, then press your arms straight, open the throat. Exhale to cat, again soften the elbows to help with a smooth transition, round your back and then push into the ground. One more time, cow pose, softness through the transition, then press and find your full range of motion. Exhale for cat pose, round into your back, let your gaze come to your thighs, push the ground away. Inhale through neutral spine, lengthen your heart forward, feel the back of your neck get long. Tuck your toes, press back to downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back, and then just pedal out your legs. So we spend a lot of time in our day. Physically, we're often very bound or static, sitting, driving, so in this downward facing dog, you can just pedal out some of that tension that accumulated in your day. And then mentally and emotionally, we can get pretty stuck too. So it's nice to offer just a little bit of fluidity in the body to mimic the kind of sensation and feeling you wanna have in your brain and in your heart and in your soul. At the end of the day, you don't wanna feel rigid, you'd like to feel a little looser, a little softer, more ready for relaxation. Take another breath in, and then come to a still downward facing dog and breath out. Soften your knees, inhale to look between your hands. On your exhale, step your right foot forward, 
and place your left knee down. We're gonna come into a grounded lunge. So press into your back shin a lot and engage your left glute. Use your hands and your fingertips on the ground to help you feel really stable. That way you can move into your lunge and find just a gentle stretch, a gentle opening for the left hip flexor. If you feel pretty tight in the right hip here, you can always heel toe your right foot a little bit wider. That'll give your hips some space on the mat. Drag your chest forward away from your tailbone and then deepen into the lunge as you exhale. Mm, it feels really, really nice in the front of the left hip. And then there's also a really nice stretch in the right hip as well, kind of deep in there. Take one more breath in. On your breath out, tuck your toes, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. For this downward facing dog, you can take your feet in one or two inches until you feel very grounded. Press into your palms and root your heels low and try to pick your toes up towards your knees. It's going to engage the front line of the legs so that the back line of your legs can really stretch out. Now, if you want to get a little bit of a stretch in the outside of your hips, isometrically try to widen your legs away from one another as you tip your tailbone up and you're going to feel that stretch just a little bit differently for the outside panel of your hips take one more inhale feel that engagement to stretch and then on your exhale soften the knees inhale look forward on your exhale step your left foot between your hands release your right knee down and untuck your toes. So again, we're gonna come into this really stable, grounded lunge shape. Engage your right glute and start to feel the hip flexor on the right side open. And then to give the left hip just a little more space, bring both of your hands to the inside of your left foot. Your left foot will widen to the outer edge of the mat. First, ensure stability. So what's grounded on your yoga mat is strong and stable. Then lengthen your heart forward so you can integrate some spinal length. And you're really aware of that center, deep core line of the body. And once you feel that you're stable and your spine is integrated, you can deepen this pose by releasing your hips a little bit lower. Just breathe here. Every exhale, a little longer than the inhale. Every exhale, surrendering tension in the body. Take one more inhale. Tuck your back toes and on your exhale, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, take that shorter stance, a couple inches your toes walk in, and then take your feet about outer hips width distance. Ground into your left hand, so it's a firm, stable foundation. Twist your right hand to your left calf or ankle. Push down into your grounded hand, lift your hips. Use your exhale to turn and gaze under your armpit. So downward facing dog is an inversion. Inversions for the body, especially when they're stable, allows our breath weight and our heart rate to slow down. And then twists can just be really nice and resetting for the spine. Take another inhale. Release your right hand on your exhale. It's your new foundation, so press into the ground and then twist and take your left hand to the outside edge of your right leg or ankle. Root into the ground so you root down and also feel your hips rise up. And that way you have more space to turn. Take one more inhale. 
Exhale, land your hand. Full breath in. Full breath out. Release down to your knees. Cross your ankles and then rock back until you find a seat. Extend your right leg out and bring your left foot into the inseam of your right leg. Root into your sit bones, reach up, and then pivot over your right leg for Janu Shirsasana or forehead to knee. Bow forward. Your hands can rest wherever they need to. Move your chest forward and through and then allow the upper back to round. Your forehead can drop to your leg or your knee. Your right knee in this pose can bend any amount. Look for a stretch sensation that you can manage with your breath. Forward folds can be very pacifying for the nervous system. Take another full inhale, full exhale. Good. Inhale, rise up. Ground your left hand behind you. Reach your right arm up. If you want a little bit more, sweep your right arm across the horizon. Inhale to stargazer pose. Press into your shin and your long right leg to ground you. Move your chest through to lengthen and brighten the spine. And then reach actively out through your top fingers. You can gaze down at your grounded hand to release the neck and feel a really big expansion through the entire right side of your body from your grounded foot all the way up through your armpit and fingers. It should feel really good. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, sweep your arm back down and sit your hips down. Then we'll switch legs. Extend your left leg out and bring the sole of your right foot into the inseam of your thigh. Find stability, root into your sit bones, rise up through your spine, and then pivot over your long leg and fold into Janusirsasana, that seated forehead to knee. From the hip hinge, your chest lengthens forward. Then round the spine and let the forehead drape down. Your hands don't have to be active and pulling here. Just let them rest heavy, especially because we want this to be a release for the body as opposed to a big source of tension. In your low and middle back, breathe wide across your kidney band and feel the muscles that help your spine stabilize and side bend and navigate the different positions of your day to day. Really stretch. Also feel any tension or buildup in your low back starting to melt away. Good. On your next inhale, rise up. Plant your right hand behind you. Reach your left arm up or come into stargazer pose. Sweep your left arm across the horizon, root down into your grounded shin and your long leg, press down into your grounded hand, move your chest through. Reach actively through your top fingers so the entire left side of your body gets this really big, nice, juicy opening. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release all the way back down. Great. Draw the soles of your feet together now. Let your heels come close up into your pelvis. Lengthen your chest through. And on your exhale, fold Baddha Konasana with a forward fold or bound angle pose. Some people also call this butterfly because you can see that your knees sort of open like butterfly wings. Invite gravity to be your friend here. So your knees are just heavy and soft towards the ground and you don't have to do any extra pulling or pushing. Good. 
could start to notice that as you release your muscles, naturally your body will get heavier and heavier forward. Really nice. Use your inhale to rise back up. Extend your legs nice and long. Roll all the way down to your back. Just take a moment to get comfortable on the ground. You can bring your shoulders a little bit wider so that you have more of a shelf behind your heart. Good, and then stamp your feet. Take your feet about hips width distance and then just gentle rotation, gentle rock side to side. Rocking is naturally something that relaxes us. If you think about even when you were a baby and maybe your mom rocked you, rocking just really soothes the nervous system, signals to the body that you are at ease. And it's easy to allow the breath to smooth in sync with just this rocking side to side. And additionally, you're offering just a gentle reset for the spine and it can feel really nice on your hip muscles and your glutes as you just rock. We'll just take a couple more breaths. Now come through the center, hug your knees into your chest. Keep your head down and just draw your legs in. If taking your arms onto your shins feels a little too edgy or you start to pinch in the hip creases, bring your hands to your thighs instead and that'll allow the knees to widen as much as your hip sockets ask them to. In this pose, you may notice that your low back feels really long. And that can be a sweet sensation, especially as we just invite the muscles that keep us upright to actually soften. And some of the accumulation of tension that starts to localize in the low back can melt away here. Great. One more breath in. Then a breath out, stamp your feet, knock your knees together. This way you can keep your spine pretty long and you feel very grounded and rooted through your feet. And place a hand on your belly, below your belly button, and a hand on your chest. We're going to go into a breathing pattern called three-part breathing that is absolutely fantastic in being able to take full deep breaths, which we all need. Um, we don't just need full deep breaths when we're going to sleep. We need them before a big meeting or um, in traffic or any time uh, we get sort of a jolt to our nervous system. This is a fantastic breath you can use to bring immediate calm to the body. So start by clearing out all of your breath. On your inhale, Feel your lowest abdomen fill first. Then feel your ribs expand to the side. Finally, feel your chest lift up into your hand. As you exhale, do the reverse of that. First your chest will fall, then your ribs will draw in, and then finally your low abdomen will soften. Again, breathe in low, wide, high. Exhale high, wide, low. Three parts. Inhale three, two, one. And exhale three. time three parts inhale three two one exhale three two one 
notice a sense of calm and ease in your body. Notice a sense of calm and ease in your face and jaw. Observe how your mind and your emotions, what are the state of your mind and your emotions right now? Probably calmer, more relaxed. Probably the way you wish you could be for the whole day. Be here for just a few more breaths, lingering and enjoying some quiet relaxation for yourself. And when you're ready, draw your knees into your chest. Roll over to your side. And press yourself up to a seat. Thank you so much for taking the time for you to wind down and really find some relaxation. If you want to learn more about me, you can head over to juliamarieyoga.com. And if you want more fantastic videos like this one, go to wellnessplus.tv and we have tons of resources just for you. Until next time, thank you. Namaste. This is day one of my 30 day yoga challenge. We're going to progress through some intermediate and advanced postures and just address overall wellness and stress reduction. Be proud of yourself.